What did you dream, George? Oh. Oh. It was an effective dream, I can tell you that. They wear me out. Can you recall it? Uh, yes. I was having a picnic on Mount Hood in the rain with Genghis Khan. And his umbrella leaked. And then the sun came out. I have weather online, too, Doctor. Miss Crouch, mm. scheduled Mr. Orr for noon tomorrow. Can you make it, George? Yes, but why Good. should... Good. Mm. It's actually to stop raining. All right, George, go on now. I'll see you tomorrow. Son of a bitch knows! I'm not insane, am I? No, no, of course you're not. God, why didn't you tell me back in the office? George, I thought we had a very good session this afternoon. Extraordinary, really. Yeah. But uh, don't you think we can continue this tomorrow? No, wait a minute. You're acting like nothing happened. Oh, a great deal happened, but let's not make more of it than it is. We have a long way to go. My dream stopped the rain. George, it hasn't rained in Portland since two years ago last Easter. What are you doing this to me? One cardinal rule of therapy, George. Never hand the patients the answers on a silver platter. Now, you must work for them, otherwise they're meaningless. The sun is out. It stopped rain. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? You told me to dream a sunny day, and I did. Now, you admit it. George, it's impossible to correct a defective reality orientation overnight. Now, we're making real progress. I'll see you tomorrow. But if you... Tomorrow! Is this an accident? What? Your overdose. I know. Yes. My legal advice is agree to the psychiatric treatment, and you won't be prosecuted or persecuted for that matter. But the therapy scares me. Oh, come on, Mr. Orr. I don't mean to cause Dr. Haber any trouble. I'm sure he means well. I'd just like another psychiatrist. Oh, not without real cause. I mean, they're not going to take a patient's word against the doctors. Not in a case like this. You mean a mental case? Exactly. Well, thank you. 
very much, Miss Lelash. Uh, I'm sorry to have bothered you. One moment. I didn't say you didn't have a case. It's just that, well, you haven't told me anything yet. If I told you what was really going on, you'd think I was crazy. I'm a civil liberties lawyer, Mr. Orr. If you have something to say, you'd better say it. He's not an evil man. Now, he means well. It's just that I'm in a position to be used by him like an instrument. Now, he can't do that, even if his aims are good. Nobody can play God. But he doesn't realize that. That's why I tried taking drugs to suppress my dreams. I just want to get cured. Of drugs? Of dreaming. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, Miss Crouch, I'd like you to do some research for me. Uh, use the computer link up to the Library of Congress in the lobby. Do you think the others will mind? Oh, no, I don't think so. Almost everyone's gone to lunch. Good. I'd like you to get me as much information as possible on the effect of dream symbology in pre-Columbian culture. I may be a while. Take as much time as you need. Be very thorough, Miss Crouch. Yes, Doctor. Listen carefully, George. You and I are about to embark upon a magnificent collaboration. We are going to make history today. Using your gift, I'm going to do what no politician, no scientist, no philosopher has ever done. I'm going to make the whole world right. We need an institute, the William Haber Institute of Honorology. Antwerp. Something wrong, George. Doctor. Ah, oh, Miss Crouch. I have that research information you wanted, Dr. Haber. That didn't take you any time at all, did it? <laughs> Amazing what computers can do. Is there anything else, Dr. Haber? Yes, I'd like you to schedule Mr. Orr for noon tomorrow. I can't make it. Yes, Doctor. <laughs> 